Hello everybody, it's Uncle Matt, and I'm here to read you another bedtime story. Tonight's bedtime story is Arthur's Nose by Mark Brown. And this is when they drew Arthur a little differently. It's kind of the older style of Arthur, not the Arthur that you see in the newer books or the cartoon. But that's Arthur. And this book was copyright in 1976. This is Arthur's house. This is Arthur. He is worried about his nose. This is Arthur's mom. This is Arthur's dad. This is Arthur's sister. They all love Arthur and they all like his nose. Achoo! One day, Arthur decided he didn't like his nose. He had a cold and his nose was red. His sister thought his nose looked funny. His nose was a nuisance at school. Francine, who sat in front of Arthur, complained to the teacher that Arthur's nose was always bothering her. I want to change my seat. When Arthur played hide and seek, friends always found him first. Snuff. His friends thought his nose was funny, but what could he do about it? Sniffle. Looks like they're doing play play with making Arthur's nose. He could change his nose. That's what he could do about it. Arthur told his friends that he was going to the rhinologist for a new nose. His friends were very surprised. Sniff. Dr. Louise was very helpful. She suggested that Arthur try on pictures of different noses. That way he could choose the one he liked best. Sniff, snuff. Arthur tried on all kinds of noses. He tried on the chicken nose, fish, elephant, koala bear, hippopotamus, armadillo, toucan, this was going to be a difficult decision, goat, rabbit, mouse, zebra, Alligator, rhinoceros. Arthur's friends waited outside to see which nose he would choose. I wonder what his new nose will look like. Do you think it will look better than mine? I'm going to miss Arthur's old nose. I can't believe it, it's Arthur, wow. Maybe he won't want to play with us. Arthur hadn't changed his nose at all. I tried on every nose there was. I'm just not me without my nose, said Arthur. It's a nice nose. I still want to change my seat at school. There's a lot more to Arthur than his nose. Here's a little um, 
story here afterwards telling a little bit about Mark Brown's Arthur Adventures, have sold millions of copies worldwide. Here's the story of how Mark Brown got the idea for the first Arthur book, which I believe was this one. When my three sisters and I were growing up near Erie, Pennsylvania, our grandma Thora told us the most wonderful stories. Back then, I never dreamed I would grow up to tell stories of my own. But when my first son, Tolan, was born, I started telling him stories before he went to sleep. One night, our story was about an aardvark who hated his nose. The aardvark, of course, was named Arthur. And the story, that story, became Arthur's Nose, the first book in the Arthur Adventure series. Now there are more than 25 Arthur Adventures, as well as a series of books based on D.W., Arthur's little sister. Mark Brown lives in Hingham, Massachusetts, and Martha's Vineyard, with his wife, uh, illustrator and author Lori Krasny Brown, and their daughter Eliza. He is very happy when kids write and illustrate their own Arthur stories. And that's all the time we have for Uncle Matt's bedtime story. Hope you enjoyed that story, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.